Good day. I want to just talk about the um, the Scientology free stress test. Um, some people are familiar with this. Some people here might have done it. But anyway, here's how it goes. Um, you see the stress test table or boo, and you sit down to get your free stress test. They hand you the cans by saying, "Pick up the cans." You hold these two cans that runs a small electrical current through your body, um, which is quite interesting because they say that um, the stress test can read your mind, but they say that your mind isn't physical and not part of your body, and yet they run an electrical current through your body to show how it affects your mind. Anyway, we won't get into that. So they then ask you to get a picture of a cat in your mind, and you go, right, okay, and then they say, who is looking at it? Who's looking at what? the cat what cat the cat in your mind there's no cat in my mind okay get a picture in your mind of a cat right who's looking at it nobody okay get a picture in your mind of a cat. Got it? Yes. Who's looking at the cat? No one's looking at the cat. Look at the cat. The one in my mind. Yeah. Okay. Who's looking at it? Nobody's looking at it. It's an imaginary cat. It's my imagination. It isn't real. So how can anyone be looking at it? Okay, um, I'm going to pinch you. No, no, I'm awake. You don't need to pinch me. It's a pinch test. It's okay. It doesn't hurt. A pinch hurts. Well, it hurts a little bit. Well, don't pinch me. I'm happy to sit here and imagine cats, but don't pinch me. Close your eyes. Okay. Get a picture of a cat. Right. Who's looking at it? Who's looking at what? The cat. What cat? The cat in your mind. There is no cat in my mind. There's an imaginary cat in my imagination. But who's looking at the cat in your imagination? Who is actually observing that you have a cat in your imagination? Nobody. It's in my imagination. But it's in your imagination, right? You own the imagination. Therefore, it's your imagination that you own. Therefore, you must be looking at the cat. If you say so. So what you're telling me, what you're trying to do here is show me that I've got an imagination. And then, like, what is the whole point of this? Um, is it to sell me that book? And is that book about how I can improve my imagination or use my imagination or become my imagination? Is what you're actually saying that this whole thing, which doesn't mention Scientology anywhere, I happen to notice, it says Dianetics, but is this whole thing telling me that Scientology is actually just imaginary? It's a figment of your imagination, of the founder's imagination, of the imagination of anybody who gets involved in this? You don't think so? So why do people who do the OT levels encounter and get rid of imaginary beings? Why do you, to go clear, get rid of an imaginary reactive mind? I think uh, that's a good place to rest my case. Scientology, a figment of your imagination.